Hey guys, um, so I'm gonna introduce Amber to you guys. So I have two cats, Amber and Lily, and then I have a dog named Addy. And yes, Lily and Andy right now, they are sleeping because it is very late. Amber actually sleeps, um, she sleeps on the same bed I do. <laughs> we sleep in a really weird way. Maybe I'll like videotape it for you guys sometime, but Amber um, is, yeah, she actually does not sleep unless she's sleeping in the bed with me. <laughs> So I just wanted to make this video as kind of a Q&A, a lot of you, and answer some of your better questions. Uh, a lot of you want to know, I guess the main question is, how can I afford to buy so many magic cards? And it's not because I have a super duper amount of money, because I do not. Um, it mostly is about budget and management. I made a few videos about this, but the core concept is kind of it's hard to explain what it is. So if you know you're gonna spend X money at an anime convention or X money at this event or that event, then if you budget correctly, let's, let's say for example, that I know I'm gonna buy a case of this Origins, Magic Origins. Well, if I get the case pretty early, I've already made a decision, I pre-ordered the case, I open it, I can trade into cards that I normally would have to buy via Legacy. Like I'm still making some EDH stacks and those cards that I would have to pay cash for, I can trade the new cards for those old cards. And a lot of you might be like, oh, well, no one's gonna do that. <laughs> logically, what happens, oh, I'm just sleeping. Um, logically, what happens is people do get hyped up for the new cards and they don't wanna spend their own money opening booster packs, right? I'm pretty like tired. So I mostly make these videos, so again, I'll explain why I wear the same t-shirt. But to more to that point, uh, I do feel like if you open packs in the very beginning, like I'm talking about the week it releases, you will do fine, because essentially I look at it as, okay, I need this deck, I can either pay money for it, or I can open packs, have fun with the people at Locals, and then trade these cards into the cards I would have paid money for. And I trade magic cards for all types of stuff. I actually traded magic cards for this iPad. New, I got this iPad new from Best Buy. It's a Mac, no, it's an iPad Air. And I got it for no money. I just traded straight magic cards to my friend for it. And that was that. Uh, it was a $460 iPad with the cover. I traded him about, I, I wanna say like $770 of standard cards for it pretty much a buy list, which I'm okay with, because again, the volume, if you buy enough in volume, then you can take a little piece of that yourself, but then use it to get iPads and other stuff. Maybe I'll make another video about it, because I also trade, I trade a lot of my magic cards away for anime figures, uh, anime, even anime convention pass. So like an anime convention pass, my friend would just buy for me, but instead of asking for cash, He'll be like, hey, just give, let me um, get this magic card from you about the same value. And I do that a lot because my collection is of the size that most cards that people would want I have. For instance, um, when I went to the Houston Anime, what, Anime Missouri, I got a pass for both Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, pretty much for four mutables. And that pass is like 80 bucks, I wanna say, 70 bucks maybe pre-order. And that's how like it works. Like, and I get anime figures that way. So I don't view magic cards as like a waste of money. Um, I view, if you get them for a cheap enough price, then it, it actually balances out, and you have a lot of fun doing so. Yeah, that would be how I can buy so much. I don't. It's not because I'm uber rich. Because I'm not at all. I do drive a car that I love. I do. I uh, have a home, I do have these little animals. And secondly, I, the next question I have would be, how do I make videos? So first of all, I have to explain, Saturday or Sunday for the last, pretty much every week for the last, I wanna say like two years, I volunteered. Be it at a immigration center, be it at a shelter. Uh, recently, most recently for the last year and a half, it's been in animal shelters as well as animal shelters and tutoring. Um, tutoring is really fun. Sometimes I do get paid for it, but sometimes I don't. So it's kind of like whatever. 
Uh, animal shelters, I do two things for animals. I obviously work there and volunteer there and you know, walk, play with the cats, walk the dogs, clean up the cats and dogs, and that's really fun stuff. I mean, yeah, it's kind of smelly, and especially in summertime, a lot of these uh, shelters, their air conditioning is not like very strong. Uh, but I also um, what foster a lot of animals, and um, it's it's just like fun. It's a, it's kind of like when I grew up, I had a cat, and it was the best cat ever. And I have two cats, so I have two cats, Amber and Lily, after Liliana, and I have a dog, Addy, um, and Addy's a lot bigger now. And I've had these animals for some time, and they were all foster animals, or like Amber and Lily, I actually found them on Craigslist. Uh, I think Addy was, I found her behind a dumpster in the Whataburger. Like that's how I found Addy, and she had fleas, and. Uh, her medical bills were crazy insane and so was Amber, like um, Lily was a stray. Um, so I'm always very aware of um, what, you know, like you have to get the animals checked by your vet and that's not always cheap. Uh, my car is now that age where it does have maintenance. I actually put $1,200 in it. It was either that or air conditioning. So I have regular people bills as well. And it's really not a extra source of income. Um, YouTube, as many people have mentioned, is not an ideal. Uh, I just like enjoying. I view it as a hobby. I view it as something cool to talk with you guys to. Uh, next question: When does the contest end? Uh, this the contest is going to end Thursday. It's going to end Thursday because something comes out that Friday, and I want to see if I can get it so I can have a contest. Uh, the next contest would be pretty good because it is would be like my birthday, my pseudo birthday contest. And yeah. Oh, also a lot of you ask why I wear the same t-shirts in every video. It's because if you guys don't know, I shoot all the videos in one week and one shooting. Um, and then it takes time to upload and all that type of stuff. So like I'm actually just shooting the next, all of the video or even like maybe two, two weeks worth of videos, depending on how busy I am. Uh, at one shooting and that works uh, well with my schedule. Um, I make most of my videos at, oh, another question is why am I, do I seem so distracted in these videos? Cause normally it's pretty much like 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. and I know I have to wake up at eight at least. A lot of times when I volunteer, I gotta get up at like seven to drive into the city. Uh, luckily there's no traffic at that time on Saturday or Sunday. And I just have a really good time doing that. And yeah, I'll, I guess the second part, the last question I'm gonna answer in this q and I'm having this Q&A because I felt like it would be kind of fun to have. And I mean, I, these milestones that we've crossed, I haven't really recognized them too much. Um, the last question I would, people have really asked me a lot of is, you know, where, kind of, <laughs> see I'm distracted because it's like 4 a.m. right now and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta get up. Hello Amber, hello cutie. Okay, um, Amber actually, she sleeps in bed with me. Um, Addie's getting puppy training, so she's in dog pads still. Like, I don't know, I might have to get professional puppy training for her. Um, and then Lily is very independent. I only see her when it's time to get food. Which reminds me, the last question a lot of you have is you guys want to meet up and do stuff. Like, I'm all down for that. Um, I do feel like that my channel is too big for me. And I know it's very awkward for people to say that. But for me, it, I'm going to go ahead and say that it is a little. So I'm going to try to move some of my content. You guys will still get two videos a day, but some more of my fun content, I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook, has been moved to Facebook. And I like it because Facebook is much, much smaller than my YouTube. Uh, and there's something to be said about like a small, cohesive group of people who like what you do. I do feel like I love you guys to death and I think you guys are 12,000 right now, 4 million views. But um, it does seem, it does seem like it is a lot, right? It's a lot to 
when you post a video and it gets like a thousand views, like I would never have imagined that when I was um, on this previous channel or, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, that is my Q&A. Um, if you guys have questions, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, I would love to have a discussion with you guys. Oh, I also don't like look at my comments all that much because a lot of it is like negativity stuff and I would much rather just not look at it than have to, um, but I, I do comment on positive people and people that I recognize. So if you keep commenting and I read your post and I'm like, oh, okay, hmm, then yes, I absolutely will comment on your stuff because I think that's really cool that you're encouraging me to make more videos. Um, anyway, guys, say goodbye, Amber. I can say goodbye. She's sleeping. I'm going to put her down. <laughs> she actually, yeah, she sleeps in, um, like, she just cuddles up right next to you. And even if you, like, like push her off the bed, she'll just jump straight back to bed. So it's not worth it. Anyway, bye, guys.